Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today we're heading down to Oldson Park for the BMW Live. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a video of absolutely everything there, try and get all the content that I can. So yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Don't forget to subscribe and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, which I hope that you do. So yeah, see you when I get there. Yeah, mate, you're yeah. alright. One ticket, please, mate. Yeah, it's 25 today. Yeah, it's all, mate. <laughs> All right, mate. No worries. It's <laughs> all right. Stop. You got two duplicates there, so it wouldn't stop issuing them. They're not worth anything in the duplicates. Just no. The receipts. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Charlie. All right, mate. Oh, make sure you take that off first. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Cheers, man. All right, let's go. So we've just got inside. Let's do this. So I've just parked up now and there's a few cars here in front of me. So yeah, let's check around and see what we've got. So first of all, we've got this lovely E30 BM really original and clean looking very tucked in the back as well to be fair so it's sitting quite low like a little spoiler on it makes it look really nice and then we've got an E36 M3 which also looks mint got this lovely M3 Touring fortunately supports Leeds which isn't too great but looks lovely in the matte black and the bronze wheels Gangster whip rolling in. Looking really nice with the OZ wheels. And lovely racing style M2. So yeah, this is parked up now. It's obviously on air because it wasn't that low before when it was rolling. But yeah, that is absolutely tucked into the arch, that is. Looking sweet. Got this lovely 3 litre CSL with the M colours going down the side and onto the front and then also on the back it's got the big spoiler in that so yeah it looks really clean and original and then something a bit more modern the Z4 which I think the older BMWs look a little bit better than that and then also we've got another nice E28 BM with like I say the chrome wheels which just looks smart Probably one of the best looking BMs is the E46 M3. This with its hard top as well, just looks absolutely immaculate. And we've got a stand dedicated to the 128Ti's. That one I think is nice because of the colour. The red leather with it just sets it off. So yeah, there's quite a few of them to be fair. There's also minis here, so I thought we'd get a few in. This one's got some nice little patterns on the roof. I also like this one, fully black, but then it's got like the tinted clear Union Jack headlights, which look really good. And an M340i with a few little mods onto it. See, it's had an exhaust done. It's got like the Formula One raining light. I think the colour on this looks really nice, but I 
think a lot of cars look the same, so let's check out to see which one this is. If, is it a 240? No, it's just a 220. Obviously, this looks a lot different compared to the normal 2 Series. It's the first one I've seen today. Like I say, with the blue, and then it's got the brownish leather inside. Just makes it look really nice. Nice Z4 there, M Sport. Not a lot to say about it, but looks good. Quite a bright colour on this E36, but looks really fresh to be fair, very clean. So he's got a little bit chrome with the wheels. And it's got the cream interior in it as well. So yeah, it looks like a really nice example. So I see this 8 Series has left his bonnet up. Yeah, I really like these proper, like, modernish classic I like how it's pillarless so when all the door the windows are down it just looks mint probably one of my favorite BMs the 1M obviously it's not called the M1 because there's already one been done but yeah these are rare even though there is a few here but they just look incredible look really nice and from one orange car to another Got this brand new M4, which with the orange and then the normal silver wheels, I think looks really good. Just makes the wheels pop out more compared to seeing your black wheels. And then this would be a nice car. If it is a 545, then you don't see many about, but to be honest, what's with the two spoilers on it? And then wheels just don't go. And the dents everywhere, they clearly don't look after it. You know, it could be a really nice car if it was in the right hands. And you've got stick-on vents, which do bugger all. So yeah, pointless car. But on the other hand, we've got this lovely example of the Z4M, which are them wheels and that colour. It's just mint. And obviously you've got that 3.2 straight six, so the roof down, revving it up, listening to that would just be perfect. It's lovely BMW 2002. Very clean, such a nice classic. We've got a stand just for the Z3Ms, which to be fair, I've not seen many of them, but I've come here and there's absolutely loads. I didn't even think there was that many in the UK. But yeah, I think they just look absolutely brilliant. Original the better. And you've got this Alpina D4S Grand Coupe, which taking it to them I think they just do a nice few little touches on it I like all the pinstripes down the side like I say still doing these even on the modern cars I think is just a good idea it looks really smart just gives it a few little nice touches got this lovely 850i with the British racing green I think with the brown seats just looks mint you've got this brand new M3 Touring like four exhausts on it and the green on it like so you can see that for miles it just proper pops but yeah it is nice very nice i think another one of my favorites has got to be the e90 m3 i think like say having a four door with a v8 in it it's just mint like i said it looks so well and they've aged so nicely and then you've got the e92 coupe next to it with wrapped in red which just pops out nice but don't worry, it's not just all BMWs here. So there is a, is it a VXR8? So it's got the exhaust coming out of the side. Pretty sure that'll sound nice once it gets on the track. And like I say, there's other racing cars here going around the track. So got this Civic, probably a Type R, ready to go on the track. So now you've got the original M1 which even with it being this old, it actually still looks quite modern. Proper nice classic, that original. Yeah, not a lot to say really, but it's pretty much perfect, that. We've got another M2 here, which I think is just gonna give us maybe a few little revs. This has got the four exhaust on it as well, which don't think it's my cup of tea, but 
hey ho, everyone's got different tastes. Yeah, it does look really good that. It's got a few few little touches on it. So it's had all the side skirts and that and the front and the diffuser all done. It's had all that attached and that. New bolts all in the engine bay, so yeah, it looks really smart that. Some money spent on it. Very bright 2 Series BM. You can it's hurting the eyes, it's that bright. We've also got this, I think it's a 540i. It's had a few little modifications to it. Lowered, different wheels and all the side skirts on. But it's very nice E36 Coupe, which I think is just sitting lovely. And the wheels on it just go with it so well. I like the concave on the back, I think it just looks nice. And then it's got like a double spoiler on it as well. So yeah, very clean. Another little look at the Mini. For, I've got to get a video of this because I do quite like the Mini GPs. Number 545, obviously no back seats in it. Yeah, really nice that. So you've got this CSL M3, which looks like it actually gets driven. As you can see there's a wheel cap missing off the front wheel. So then it's got them lovely performance bucket seats in there, the carbon roof as well. So yeah, quite a special car that one. We've got a very brave colour on this classic, which to be fair you don't really see a bright colour on many classic cars, but I think this really works obviously with the black stripes going down the side of it. Yeah, it looks absolutely immaculate. I assume it's probably been fully restored. Can't imagine that being an original colour, but it could be. Got a Morgan with his cover on, just in case it might rain. That's something for you, JDM fellas, even though the Super is German, really. So yeah, lovely RX-8 there, and a lovely Supra as well, which is basically a Z4, so it's allowed in. We've got this lovely 135 with quite a nice wrap on it. Nice black E92 M3. I've like them CSL style wheels, I think they look really good. Then we've even got a normal 3 Series here as well. The same sort of wheels. So like I say it looks just as well as the M3, but obviously the M3 just looks a little bit more aggressive. Obviously you've got that big big bonnet on there. So it just gives it a bit more of a, an aggressive look with the wide arches. Seven pages with a mark called so we've got another nice E36 which quite like the yellow tint in the headlights I think it looks smart and this lovely 5 series sitting quite low We've also got quite an original Z3. It's very clean to be fair, nothing's been done to it. 
quite like the, the brownie interior in there as well with the wooden trim. Just keeps it a little bit classy. And obviously over there you've got that M3, which is an absolute beast. Got this free series, which is like half a convertible, half isn't. Not too sure what you call them to be fair. Maybe let me know in the comments. We've also got this other E30 coupe in that red, I think just looks lovely. And also if we turn around, I've got another one here as well in a nice gray color. So a car I've not actually really seen in real life is the M2 CS, which obviously is a bit lighter weight. You get a little bit more power than in the standard M2. Obviously you've got the vent in the bonnet, which does act as a vent and you've got a mini version of it in the dash. So we've got a couple of M3s lined up here with your E46, your E92 and your F80. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Do you prefer the older or do you prefer the newer? Obviously there's even newer and there is even older than these but yeah I think they all look great. Got another M3 convertible E46. So like I say for over 20 years old I still think looks really good. Just looks as modern as any other car on the road now and also next to that we've got this m6 convertible which you get the same 4.4 litre v8 as you do out of the m5 so yeah great sounding engine that so this x5 has decided to show his numbers which i think 476 horsepower in something that's so big and quite heavy isn't a lot but it's still a great amount of power and obviously the torque's pretty well this Z435, I feel like this is a little bit of an unspoken car because they are pretty good to be fair. Like, see, you've got that straight six engine in there. So, yeah, sounds really well as well. And this is like the perfect family car, the M5 competition in that like pearl white. Just looks absolutely mint as well. So, yeah, perfect all around car is right there. So we've got a little rainbow collection with these M4s and the M3 on the end. Yeah, obviously they've just got all together. Just got a few pictures and stuff like that, but yeah, I think they all work well together, all the different colours. Then you've even got an M4 convertible wanting to pull up and join in line as well, which in that colour and them seats just goes well. So I think the M Sport colours down the side and on the back of this M2 look pretty good like i said it go well on the white so yeah it looks really smart that then this guy should have joined in with the rainbows very bright m4 here yeah it would have fitted in well obviously you can't go anywhere now with a few electric cars so i thought i'd quickly get these in there's quite a lot of these i freeze about but yeah they're not really that interesting are they one electric car that is interesting is this i7. Yes, the front does look really ugly. And from the side, it does look like a proper boat. And the wheels are a little bit small for this massive car, but yeah, it's a proper luxury car. I think the back end looks a lot better than the front end. And in this Nardo Grey looks really well. Just the fine details like in the tail lights, just looks good. And then if you head over, to the inside of the car just proper luxury inside you've got like the crystal bits on the dash and everything and i like the full screen so this is the first time seeing an i5 and why is it bms they always make ugly ass cars when they first come out but then you end up loving them and thinking yes it looks really good like the back end of that looks terrible but give it six months and it'll look great obviously it's got the new entertainment screen in there which has still got the film on it, it's that new. But let's have a look at the front end of it. Doesn't look too bad, quite pointy. And going away from something so new, is this lovely M5 Touring, which obviously is a very rare car. Don't think I've actually seen one in person, but yeah, like I say, you've got your whole family in there, but you've got a V10 underneath the bonnet. What more do you want, really? Perfect. Going even older now with the Tourings, with the C30 Touring, which looks really nice. I think it's a 325, 
not too sure a little check around the back see what it is yeah it's the 325i so you've got this other lovely 92 m3 showing off its big v8 and it's i assume supercharger turbocharger so yeah that'll be shifting quite a bit of power and straight on to another e92 m3 next to it i'm a bit more interested in the 46 m3 in this gray color i actually really like brown leather seats now and i think that with the gray looks really well just makes the seats stand out but yeah like i said before something so old looking that mint still something that isn't looking as mint is this one series obviously there's a few rude words on the front there's chalk on there so if you want to write in it then you can right then guys so that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so yeah i'll see you in the next video peace out and of course coming home getting stuck in traffic as per usual the great british roads eh just queuing as always